<clears throat> Just Prince TV here. Bless you with a shorty, then we set you up. Now, if you heard that song, the setup by Nas or on It Was Written, these stories like this happen every day up in the hood sometimes. And got a little story to tell. This is a real life story. This this woman is facing jail time as we speak. This happened recently, about a month ago or so. Uh, or a couple of days ago, you know, I'm, I can't remember the date, but this woman lived in Marble Hill of the Bronx, you know, and the guy lived in Lower East Side, Manhattan, two neighborhoods I'm actually familiar with. You know, I used to go to school near um, Lower East Side in Manhattan. So shout out to all the Porter Rocks in Manhattan, um, especially Lower East Side, Little Italy, Chinatown, all those areas is near there. Now I know New York like the back of my hand, son. That's that's my that's my home. But anyway, um, this guy was on the internet, Instagram, flashing money, big Willie style, flashing jewelry, you know, just living that life, letting people know that he was that dude that got the bankroll. You know, he had a big bank, so to speak. And I'm not talking about. <laughs> The, the one the ladies talk about. I'm, I'm talking about like <laughs> just the one as in terms of having a lot of loot. <laughs> you know, but anyway, um, he gets in contact with this lady, the lady that lives in the Bronx. All right. She's from, you know, the BX. She's a dentist, by the way. And well, a dentist by, you know, her normal nine to five working job. At night, she's something else. So she's on social media flashing pictures of herself, you know, looking glamorous, big Willie style. And uh, she notices this guy on the gram posting up all these pictures, posting up all these jewelry. You know, you know where the story is going. They schedule a date to meet up. So she tells this dude to come to her house. Complete. This is a complete stranger. This is a woman. See, I keep telling you guys, don't get caught up. He got caught lacking. He goes to this lady's house. And guess what happened? Two guys hit this dude from behind. Tie him up. Give him a couple stab wounds. Throw him in a tub. Light him on fire with, with like a blowtorch like substance. All right. All while his siblings watch as he gets tortured because they're holding this guy ransom for money. Right. So he's getting a shit beat out of him. You know, third degree burns, you know. And <laughs> it said when law enforcement found this guy, they could barely recognize him. You know, um, so this is another situation of. Be careful who you associate yourself with and be careful what you say or do on social media because people are watching. People are listening. And when you showboat and try to do Big Willie style, you should be able to back that up. He should have known better to go to a, a girl's house in the fucking Marble Hill section of the Bronx. Without no, without no gap or nothing, without, without no, nobody backing you up, you know, you asking to get robbed, though, you know, in this case, this dude got tortured, you know, so, of course, all the people got, um, you know, they're, they're sitting in the jail cell right now, I guess they're waiting bail, you know, and they're going to have to face court charges, and if found guilty, most, li most likely they're going to get found guilty. <laughs> Too much evidence piling against them. They're going to get sent away. But at the same time, you got a lot of people in the comment section calling this guy a dummy. Calling him an idiot. Calling him, um, you know, all this other stuff in the book. But, hey, he may, get, he may deserve to get smacked in the face for being dumb and not paying attention. But that doesn't mean... He deserved to uh, get the treatment that he got, man. Because that was crazy. And phew, be careful. Bless you with a shorty. Then we set you up. That was the setup right there. We out. Peace.